the Prince of Wales offered to walk Prince Harry's wife to be down the aisle after her father Thomas Markle pulled out of the royal wedding. But Meghan's reply was not quite what he was expecting, according to royal biographer Robert Hardman. Writing in his new book Queen of Our Times, The Life of Elizabeth II, serialized in the Daily Mail, Mr. Hardman said Meghan was determined to make a grand entrance on her own. The royal author said, feeling for his future daughter-in-law, the Prince of Wales offered to step in, saying he would be honoured to escort Meghan up the Isle of St. George's Chapel to the altar. The reply, according to one friend, was not quite what he was expecting, can we meet halfway? Here was an indicator that this was no blushing bride, but a confident, independent woman determined to make a grand entrance on her own. Meghan and Harry tied the knot in May 2018 at St. George Chapel, Windsor Castle. The Duchess of Sussex has been estranged from her father since he pulled out of walking her down the aisle following a row over staged paparazzi photos that threatened to overshadow the big day. He also reportedly underwent heart surgery around the time of the royal wedding. In December 2018, Mr. Markle claimed Meghan had ghosted him since marrying Harry. Speaking to ITV's Good Morning Britain, he said, I love you very much, you're my daughter and I would really like to hear from you. Whatever differences we have, we should be able to work them out. On the controversy over staged paparazzi photos, Mr. Markle added, For that incident I've apologised 100 times, I don't feel that's worthy of being shunned or ghosted, that's ridiculous. In his new book, Mr. Hardman claims the Queen was not anticipating that the Duke and Sussex would return to royal duties. He said, the palace also revealed that the Queen had insisted on a review of the situation after 12 months, just in case the couple might be having second thoughts. Privately, she wasn't expecting them to. Asked by one well-meaning visitor if she expected him to resume royal life, the Queen replied firmly, of course not. They took the dogs.